The film opens within the serene confines of a library, an oasis of quiet in a busy world. However, this tranquility is shattered when a group of enigmatic figures storms the library, their actions ruthless as they take the life of the librarian and desecrate the books by tearing out their pages. Chaos ensues, but amidst the turmoil, a mysterious figure materializes, forcing the intruders to flee in terror. This mysterious entity, a shrouded lady with an invisible face, wields dominion over the mystical forces within the library and pursues the intruders relentlessly. The leader of the intruders manages to create a portal, whisking them away to another city in an attempt to evade the lady's vengeance. Yet, the enigmatic entity remains undeterred, her pursuit unwavering. It's revealed that this lady was once the mentor of the intruder's leader. However, he had strayed from the path of righteousness, aligning himself with sinister forces and stealing pages from a coveted and forbidden tome. The lady is resolute in her mission to prevent him from further abusing his newfound powers. The scene transitions to a bustling city where Dr. Strange, a renowned and highly skilled surgeon, resides. His surgical expertise has earned worldwide acclaim, though few know that his career is relatively recent. Tragedy strikes when Dr. Strange is involved in a devastating accident, leaving him severely wounded, his face scarred, and his gifted hands crippled. The grim prognosis is that he may never perform surgery again. Desperate to regain his surgical prowess, Dr. Strange seeks treatment, initially from a neurologist, who has gained fame for miraculously restoring mobility to paralyzed patients within days. However, the cost of the neurologist's services is exorbitant, causing distress for Dr. Strange, who lacks the means to afford the treatment. One day, a female friend offers to assist him, but his pride and frustration lead him to decline her help. Hurt and angered, she departs. Driven by his determination to regain his abilities, Dr. Strange embarks on a quest to find a man who had miraculously recovered from paralysis within three days. However, the man refuses to meet Dr. Strange, or that Dr. Strange had not been the one to heal him when he was paralyzed. Dr. Strange implores the man to share the details of his miraculous recovery, and the man reluctantly agrees to recount his journey to a place where he encountered many individuals, including a master with the power to heal. This place, he reveals, is located in a distant country, acknowledging that the journey to reach it would be fraught with challenges. Dr. Strange, undeterred, expresses his unwavering determination to take on any risks necessary to regain his surgical abilities. With resolute determination, he embarks on a journey to the same foreign land. Upon his arrival, he encounters a young woman, who surprisingly turns out to be the same enigmatic lady who had earlier appeared as an entity. Dr. Strange seeks an audience with her, hoping to understand her methods for healing paralyzed individuals. However, the lady clarifies that her primary role is not the act of healing. Instead, she imparts wisdom and guidance, entrusting the recovery process to the individuals themselves. She explains that the key to recovery lies in their determination and the innate biological processes within their bodies. Dr. Strange, a man of logic and skepticism, struggles to believe in the lady's claims, questioning the validity of healing through thought and abstract concepts. He voices his disbelief, and in his frustration, he mentions the substantial financial sacrifices he made to reach this place, intended for his treatment. In a surprising and pivotal turn of events, the lady takes a bold step, slapping Dr. Strange across the face. This act seems to trigger something profound within him. Dr. Strange's soul momentarily separates from his body, leaving him disoriented. As his soul returns, he experiences a mysterious vision and begins to question the boundaries of his beliefs. Convinced by the lady's display of power, Dr. Strange acknowledges her extraordinary abilities. It becomes evident that the lady, known as the Chief Lady, is more than a mere instructor. She possesses true superhuman powers. As Dr. Strange grapples with this revelation, the Chief Lady instructs her followers to remove him from her presence expressing her reluctance to teach him any further. Dr. Strange, however, refuses to leave. Now a believer in the mystical world he once doubted, another man in the group pleads with the chief lady to reconsider, emphasizing Dr. Strange's exceptional skills and the positive impact he could have on humanity. His impassioned plea aims to convince the chief lady to give Dr. Strange another chance. The chief lady listens to their appeals, and with a sense of caution and hope, she decides to give Dr. Strange another chance to learn and harness the mystic arts. Following the Chief Lady's decision to give Dr. Strange another chance, he is welcomed into her world of mystic arts. She initiates his training by demonstrating various magical techniques and unveiling the secrets of this mystical realm. Dr. Strange, initially skeptical and confused, begins to grasp the fundamentals of this enchanting world. 
As his training progresses, Doctor Strange starts to comprehend that there are incredible powers beyond the confines of the reality he once knew. He realizes that with the right knowledge and mastery of these arts, he can harness immense abilities and uncover the true purpose of his existence. Doctor Strange diligently follows the guidance of the Chief Lady, performing tasks assigned by her and immersing himself in the knowledge she imparts. The Chief Lady's brilliant student becomes an invaluable ally, assisting Doctor Strange on his journey of discovery. At a crucial moment, the Chief Lady intervenes, instructing everyone to leave except for Doctor Strange. She opens a small portal that transports them to the harsh, freezing conditions of Mount Everest, an extreme test designed to assess Doctor Strange's resilience and survival skills. The Chief Lady questions whether he possesses the determination and strength required to protect himself. The Chief Lady's student expresses concern, suggesting they should return as Doctor Strange has not yet demonstrated sufficient progress. However, the Chief Lady remains steadfast in her decision to give Doctor Strange time to evolve, believing in his potential to master these mystical powers. In a surprising turn of events, Doctor Strange rises to the challenge and conquers the extreme conditions of Mount Everest. His ability to adapt and survive showcases the progress he has made in mastering the mystic arts. With newfound confidence and capabilities, Doctor Strange continues his training. He develops a thirst for knowledge and begins reading the books provided by the Chief Lady, growing increasingly proficient in the supernatural arts. As Doctor Strange's abilities and understanding expand, the Chief Lady feels that her guidance is no longer required. The Chief Lady, impressed by Doctor Strange's rapid progress in mastering the mystic arts, invites him into the world of mirrors. She explains that in this unique realm, he has the power to create his own mirror world, detached from the real world. Here, he can shape and conjure anything he desires. However, it's essential to remember that this mirror world has no connection to reality, and its purpose is to observe the other world through its reflective surface. As Doctor Strange delves deeper into this mystical realm, his understanding of the mystic arts continues to grow. One day, a sudden realization strikes him, he becomes curious about the true significance of the book that was stolen by the man pursued by the Chief Lady. Doctor Strange decides to visit the library, finding it empty. There he starts to read the ancient book, which still contains missing pages. Within the pages of the book, he discovers something peculiar. It appears that an illustration in the book corresponds to an object placed before him, an item he wears around his neck. Doctor Strange becomes intrigued and begins to read the book more attentively. Doctor Strange and the Chief Lady student create a small portal. By rotating it, they manage to make the missing pages of the book reappear and restore an item that had been damaged. They continue experimenting with these newfound powers. During this time, Doctor Strange inquires with the librarian about the reason behind the presence of multiple gates and the secrecy surrounding the book. The librarian reveals that these gates serve as a protective barrier for their country, shielding it from a formidable adversary who resides in the Dark Dimension. The book that Doctor Strange sought to read holds a dangerous enchantment that could potentially summon the adversary, placing their entire nation in jeopardy. As they discuss this dire situation, one of the gates unexpectedly unlocks, granting access to the same man who had stolen pages from the library's book. He disrupts the portal, and the adversary stands on the brink of entering their world, claiming to have forged an alliance with this formidable foe. A grave threat looms as the Dark Dimension's master, the adversary prepares to descend upon their realm. The situation escalates as the man who unlocked the gate and triggered the library's explosion reveals his sinister plan to gain more power. He intends to bring the Dark Dimension's master to their world using the energy obtained from the stolen book pages. In the chaos that ensues, Doctor Strange is forcibly flung away from the gates and finds himself in New York. In New York, Doctor Strange stumbles upon a display of mystical costumes in a case. To his surprise, the same malevolent man who had stolen book pages and attacked him earlier materializes before him. This man, a former student of the Chief Lady, threatens Doctor Strange. However, a remarkable turn of events unfolds as one of the mystical costumes springs to life, acting as a guardian and protector of Doctor Strange. Despite the man's relentless attacks, the costume shields and defends Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange experiences a surge of power and realizes that this newfound ability has been granted to him as a reward for his training under the Chief Lady. He uses his enhanced abilities to imprison the Malevolent Man who sought to bring his Dark Master to Earth. The Malevolent Man insists on the urgency of bringing his Master to Earth, claiming that this action will ensure domination and prevent death. Amid the escalating crisis, the Chief Lady decides to personally investigate the situation in the Dark Dimension. In the ensuing confrontation, 
the malevolent man attacks Doctor Strange, wounding him. However, Doctor Strange, having learned to create portals, manages to escape through one. He returns to his female friend and requests her assistance in accessing an operating room. In a remarkable turn of events, Doctor Strange's soul detaches from his body and begins performing surgery on himself. This incredible feat astonishes his friend, who witnesses the astonishing power he has acquired from the Chief Lady's teachings. As the confrontation with the Dark Dimension's master intensifies, another adversary arrives, engaging in a fierce battle with Doctor Strange. Despite the formidable strength of this opponent, Doctor Strange appears to be overpowered in the real world. His female friend, distraught by the apparent loss of Doctor Strange, resorts to treating him with electric shocks. Surprisingly, Doctor Strange's soul emerges victorious in this metaphysical battle, absorbing energy, and eventually returning to his physical body. This triumphant return marks the culmination of his incredible transformation and newfound mastery of the mystic arts. The battle continues, and in a pivotal moment, the Chief Lady arrives, commending Doctor Strange for his mastery of the mystic arts, and suggesting that he become the guardian of their world. She offers to teach him even more powers, recognizing his immense potential. However, Doctor Strange's sense of duty as a doctor for humanity prevails, and he cannot accept the role of guardian. Doctor Strange grapples with the guilt of having taken a life, even though it was the man serving the antagonist. The Chief Lady attempts to reassure him, but Doctor Strange is left with unanswered questions about her connection to the Dark Dimension and the source of her eternal life. Their conversation is abruptly interrupted as the Master of the Dark Dimension arrives intent on bringing ruin to their world. In this moment of crisis, Doctor Strange formulates a plan. He proposes shifting their world into a mirror world to shield it from harm. However, he soon realizes the flaw in his plan. If the master of the Dark Dimension entered the mirror world, he could still inflict harm upon its inhabitants and potentially affect the real world as well. Determined to safeguard both their world and the real world, Doctor Strange formulates new strategies. The Chief Lady intervenes by creating a gateway providing protection against the master's dark powers. Yet the malevolent man remains resolute in his desire to inflict harm, utilizing his formidable abilities in a desperate bid to achieve his malevolent goals. Amidst the intense struggle, the chief lady, her student, and Doctor Strange pass through the gateway, but they are all grievously wounded during the process. The chief lady's condition deteriorates rapidly, and she is rushed to the hospital. It's here that Doctor Strange's remarkable abilities come to the fore. As tension mounts, Doctor Strange's soul separates from his body, temporarily preventing the Chief Lady's soul from departing. The story takes a somber turn as the Chief Lady, facing her imminent departure, confesses to Doctor Strange that she wasn't truly eternal. She had been harnessing power from the Dark Dimension to protect their world. She justifies her actions by explaining that the information she obtained from her knowledge was critical in safeguarding their world. She imparts a crucial lesson to Doctor Strange, reminding him that when he becomes a master in the future, he may need to make similar choices and not harbor negativity. With the Chief Lady's departure, her presence is forever lost from their world. Doctor Strange, accompanied by the Chief Lady's student, returns to the library to find it in ruins, with the malevolent individuals close to destroying the remaining places. The librarian, who had been killed, is given a second chance at life as Doctor Strange remembers the time loom that he had manipulated while reading a book. He sets the time in motion, and time begins to reverse. The librarian is resurrected, but time has significantly passed. The master of the Dark Dimension is now on Earth, poised to unleash destruction. Doctor Strange, armed with his newfound powers and the ability to manipulate time, must confront this formidable threat and protect both their world and the real world from impending doom. As the master of the Dark Dimension attacks Doctor Strange, he falls to the ground, and his talisman, the Warm Thing, touches the ground. At this moment, time stops completely. Seizing this opportunity, Doctor Strange approaches the master of the Dark Dimension and ends him. However, it's revealed that Doctor Strange has created a time loop, causing everything to reverse. In a bid to end the time loop, Doctor Strange proposes a deal to the Dark Dimension's master. If he ends the loop, he won't pose a threat to Earth. The master, realizing the futility of his efforts, agrees and the time loop is terminated. The Dark Dimension's master retreats with his companions, and the Earth is no longer under the threat of attack. With the threat averted, Doctor Strange restores his talisman to his rightful place, and things return to normal. Despite the loss of the Chief Lady, Doctor Strange is prepared to protect their world using the knowledge and powers he has acquired from her. The movie concludes on this note, 
With Doctor Strange ready to face any future challenges and protect his world, now armed with his newfound abilities and a deeper understanding of the mystical arts. That's it for today, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in another video. Till then, bye bye.